subscribe, ring the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Who could possibly forget the dance moves of David Williams? Yes. 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 David. I think the audience turned on David, not just because he's a bad dancer, but because he's a very bad sport, and we like good sports in this country. Yeah, and what's your act, David? I'm dancing. Who do you aspire to be like in the world of dancing? Who are your heroes? One of my heroes is Justin Timberlake. OK, off we go. <laughs> your hair and give me that grin it's making me spin now spinning within before i melt like snow i say hello how do you do david look the Thanks. truth is you are completely and utterly useless <laughs> right I mean, yes or no absolutely not What's the matter with you? Huh? They all made the mockery of me. Who did? Simon, the judges, and all of a sudden, most of the audience. Now I just feel stupid being there on that stage in front of all those people, telling them the f of them running off. Well, what? Or do you regret swearing at them now? You regret running off? Do you want to go back on and, and speak to the judges and apologise, maybe, and, and, and have a conversation with them, yeah? Yeah? I'm so sorry for what I did. Okay, go on then. All right, cool. Go on. For starters, I want to apologise to all of your audience for, for losing it in front of you. Because it wasn't right. And I just... Well, unfortunately, I come here to apologise and to talk to them, and all you could do is say that. I mean, come off it. Oh, so it's kicked off again. Oh. A minute, we didn't actually say anything, did we? See, it felt like I was getting a mockery from the audience. Now, do you know how that feels? Stand yeah, on here. But, you, them came, laugh at but you. listen to me. You, you chose to come here today. You chose to show us your skills in front of this audience. What do you expect if it doesn't go your way? It's not always going to go your way. Yeah, this but is show business. I wasn't business. expecting the booing. Uh, David, <laughs> David, nobody is. Not listening to her. Oh, seriously, if that's what you get from an audience after trying to apologise, they stand on the stage and do it. Oh, that's wow. really ridiculous. You can't expect to come to an audition How and everybody you like that? you. How could you say anything? that? I've just got to carry on with what I want to do. Right. And I've got to show that Simon Cowell that who's boss. See, that's a better attitude. Yeah, it than is. you had before running off. A lot better. Yes. yes. So they can all go and beep. What? See it? Go on, yes. see it. Go on, tell them. Go on, tell them. They can. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you are. Uh, we're the singing souls. The singing trolls. Souls. Soul. <laughs> no, Mimi, come down there. <laughs> Sorry, the singing. Souls. Souls. Okay, tell me honestly, girls, what's the sort of dream here? Who who do you want to be like in seven or eight years' time? Spice Girls. Anybody could outsell them. <laughs> Anybody well, I could. like your ambition. Okay, girls, best of luck. Thanks. Off you go. There's not a lot of movement in this. Not a lot of stage presence.
girls, can I be honest with you? Uh, it's one of the worst groups I've ever heard in my life. You want to come up here and sing, Simon? Because I'd like to see you face that lot. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 hello. Look, girls, here's the deal. You sing, I judge. That's the way it goes. You sing, and I'll judge you. Judge Judy? Easy. Because trust me, I can just be as bad as you lot. You are grounded. Bite me. The other two just look a bit like, let's get out of here. <laughs> Shut up. Stop making it worse. Uh, girls, you sounded like three cats being dragged up the motorway. <laughs> it was just awful. You know, and to compare yourself with the Spice Girls, it's just crazy. Yeah, but the Spice Girls couldn't sing anyway. She's got an attitude. Attitude on her. You can be rude sometimes. I know it's, what you say is true, but it can be rude. Yeah, she got a point. You can't. Yes, you're right. You can't. You can't be rude. Well, actually, you put it much better than your friends, so I accept that. Yeah, you should be the, you should be the spokesperson. You just swap places with Lippy. Anyone who saw me dance comes up to me on the street and says, Ian, you are fantastic. And you know what I say to them? Thank you, I know. I'm going to be the next American Idol. What's your name? No, no, I don't think so. I will not stop until I'm a household name. Hi, how you been? Hi, how you been? Hey, how you been? How you been? <laughs> Illegals. Basically, every single time I walk outside, people know I'm a superstar. Hi, I'm Ian Penoff with the next American Idol. I'm sorry, you what? How you been? <laughs> when America sees this, they're going to forget about Taylor Who, Carrie Underwear, I mean, Fantasia Wen, but they will remember Ian Benardo. And that's going to happen. That's on my phone. That's yours. Hi, how you been? Hello. This is... Hello, oh. how are you? Good. How are you? What's, what's your name? My name is Ian Benardo. It's my name. And how old are you? I am 25 years old, Mr. Cowell. All right, and why are you here, Ian? <laughs> to try out for American Idol. <laughs> no, I know that. That's <laughs> like, good. Uh. That's no. cool. Like, why else would I be at American Idol? I'm here to be the next American Idol. I thought that it would be a nice addition to my already long and impressive resume. Which is? Which is superstar, dancer, singer. <laughs> and this is Chinchilla, and I'm wearing it specifically to show the world how wealthy I can be. Well, you're not a superstar, but you are a singer. <laughs> I am dancer. a superstar. No, with respect, Ian, you're not a superstar, but you may be a singer and a dancer. I am a singer, I'm a dancer, and I am a superstar. You can ask my family, you can ask my friend, you can ask one of my therapists. I am a <laughs> One of them? How many therapists do you have? I have two. Oh, all right, okay. What are you going to say? Gloria. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Randy. Oh, uh, God, dude, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't mean it that way, but... <laughs> it's three syllables, Hollywood. Like, it's not that <laughs> Like, just Are you say real? It. Are you real? Is this real? I'm breathing, I'm real, I'm Ian. Let like... me tell you what this was, Ian. This was a very hammy, bad audition for you as something you aspire to be, which obviously isn't a singer. Really? And you, it's, ba it's not funny, you're not good at anything, and this is all your no, lips. No, 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 I, and I haven't finished yet. Ian, what an American Ian, I haven't finished is. yet, okay? It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage? Like, what is that? Like, rubbish? Who <laughs> says Ian, that word? You know, even? Ian, look, no, you're, you're I don't, doing who says that word? Do it outside. Who are you? Do it outside. I do it outside? Do you even have a working Ian, visa to be here? I am bored of you. That. I want to see, as a, no, as a taxpaying American in Out my country, go. I want to see your working visa because I don't think you're legally Ian, working Ian, Ian, I'm bored I don't now. Feel, I'm bored with you. I don't think it's fair that you're Mike, critiquing me like this. Take Mr. Boring out. Mr. Boring out? Who are you? Oh, I've had it with this one. Oh, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. My face should be right here, and you have the audacity that I'm getting outside by security because I'm such a threat. You're a threat. You're not even American, and you're in my country, and you're going to tell me what an American idol is? Bye. I have never, but this was... Oh,
Oh. First off, he just threw me out of there after I started singing. Do you have any idea why? Yes, because he's a moron, that's why. And second off, he asked me what I'm doing when I leave here. You know what I'm going to be doing? I'm calling National Geographic to let them know that the dodo bird is not extinct. It's in there. And his name is Simon Cowell. Hey. Well, this is interesting. Isn't it? Crazy, right? Ian, how do you think it went? How do I think I went? How do you think I it went? Finish, judges, please. Yeah, I want to see where this goes. I really want to see where this goes. You're scaring me. <laughs> I'd no, like to I'm, know I'm what. Really nice guys, all right. Well, you didn't like David buzzing you. No, I, I like him, but I don't like the buzz. Uh, it's, yeah, the, it's these dang buzzers. You guys shouldn't have this buzzer thing going on. But the thing you, is, you, you can scrap it. You know, you can scrap. It. Forget about the buzzer. Oh, no. Make something that sounds better, like a bell. You're like ding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Roy, you're, you're a very likable chap. Um, but the show is called Asia's Got Talent. And I didn't really see much talent. However, you did end what seemingly was like a big orgasm. So I guess that's kind of pretty cool. You're mean. You think? Yeah, I think you're mean. But it's, it's OK, it's OK. I understand, I understand. <laughs> you're just joking, right? No, I'm not joking. Uh, that means you're mean, you're mean. Okay. You, you know, you, you should wear something bright, like, like a yellow or blue jacket, you know? It's like black. Ah. Like, it's like too serious, you know? Can I ask you one question, Roy? Yeah. Do you know anything about me at all? Uh, I, 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 I know you're, you're David Foster. But uh, nothing, right? So I said, because of my Wi-Fi wasn't working, I had no okay. time to go, okay. you know, Google. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know Melanie C, she's, she's, she's Spice Girls, yeah. <laughs> my time, my time, yeah. Your time. We, we love the Spice Girls. Yeah. So, Melanie, he's your fan. That was unique, I think is a word, and, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, 
do you have any other talents? I mean, if you were to go further in this competition? Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Yeah? I, I can do lots of stuff. And is that your best? I mean, that was your... Uh, you you want to see some more stuff? I can show you what I can do, man. I mean, no, it's this, okay. This, this, it's, this is my it's, best. It's, it's, it's just hey, the beginning, hey, man. Hey, you know what? We've got so many people to get through today. There's so many people waiting no, 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 to Don't talk about the rest, man. Talk about me. You know, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> hey, don't you worry, buddy. We're going to be talking about you. Okay, so now, we haven't heard Vanessa. Hi. Vanessa. Oh, yeah, Vanessa. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it was definitely entertaining, um, but I just don't think it's Asia Got Talent material. But I did enjoy it. Yeah, so that's my two cents. Uh, suit yourself, man. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's vote. Yeah, let's vote. Ooh, let's vote. David? No. Okay, one no. Melanie? No. Two no's, Vanessa. Sorry, it's a no. Three no's, and with me, it's four no's. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. People come. Thank you. Come over here. Tell me about this outfit. It's fantastic. What's going on? Thank you, Howard. Well, it's not every day that you get to be in a place like America's Got Talent. Yeah. This is a very big deal for me. You were sort of humorous the last time. This time, I've seen it before. There's only six spots left because Pierce gave away one of them. It's not enough, Kayvon, to be different. That's very true. What have you done to perfect your act since we last saw you? Because not everybody on the judging panel said yes. You know, you said your look is so extravagant, but you felt like the song wasn't as extravagant. And you're right, it was more of a down-tempo, mid-tempo song. So I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay, go for it. <laughs> Come on. Watch out, here I come. You are a true New York character. You are different and all that. Where it falls short is on talent. It's a joke. Enjoy it. Don't take it so seriously. You're not serious, are you? I like to do things that are funny. I also like to do things that incorporate my other talents. You know, the piano? The piano was not good. The are, singing was okay, not good. Okay, you know what? You're wrong about that. I am not I'm wrong gonna about that. I'm going to show you right now. No, no, no. no. It's not serious music. Oh, he's doing it again? No. You're no. funny. No. I thought he was being outrageous and comedic. I no, was wrong. No, he wasn't. Kayvon. You know, Kayvon, I do want to say something. Because there are four X's up there, I must tell you that it would be an impossibility at this point for you to go that's, through. That's not true. That's how it works. You know, I, I don't think you were going for funny. I think you consider yourself a serious artist. Look at Madonna. Yeah, she's well, look a at serious Madonna. artist, but she has a sense of humor. But, but Madonna, look at Lady Gaga. She has a sense but, of but humor. Kayvon, let me tell you something. 
Lady Gaga is one of probably technically the best singers I've ever heard. Madonna is a fabulous singer. And, Watch and the movie you, Evita. Why do you think I'm not a good singer? You're not a good singer. I don't feel like this was positive you judgment. Know, can I just you told me I'm you? not a good pianist. I taught myself how to play. I believe you. I do believe... You do have to get given credit. You did come out here, you did put on a show. When it comes to singing, your technique is not even there. Do you, you think can... that you're a better singer than me? Yeah. I'm not saying that, and I would never say that. I mean... Why won't you say that? This is America's Got Talent. I'm telling you from a technical side of things, your technicality when it comes to your vocals, you need a lot of work on that. I've been taking vocal for six years now. Hey, I, hey, I don't, you say you're making fair criticism, but you're really Let not. me give you some honest criticism, right? If this show was called America's Got Obnoxious Little Brats, you would win it, right? Your behavior is obnoxious. For you to have the gall to stand there and try and compare yourself to Mel B, who's had number can, ones can all I around the world, though? is Orly. frankly an insult yeah. to the judging yeah, panel, I'm, I'm and not, you should have more class and point. more respect. I think she's talented. I wasn't saying that she's not. I'm saying she, I don't think that she is, you know, like a Whitney Houston, but she's a good singer. She's a talented Ooh. pop star. And all I'm saying, oh. all I'm saying is that okay, I feel like five, five, five. Wait. Before you continue watching this video, because I know you will, three things. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And why are you here? I'm here because I want to be the next American Idol, and I want to make it to Hollywood, and it's been my all-time dream for a long time to become a big, famous singer and performer. And this is just... One way to do it, if I make it. Uh, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing I Feel the Earth Move by Carole King. All right, off you go. I feel the earth move, fall on my feet. I feel the sky come falling down. I feel my heart start to tremble down. When I fall short of round. Oh, baby, when I see your face, mellow as the month of May. Oh, darling. I can sound it when you look at me that way. Yeah. I feel the earth move, fall on my feet. I feel the sky come falling down. I feel my heart start trembling when I fall short of round. Oh, darling, when you're near me and you tenderly call my name. I know that my emotions are something I can't contain. I All feel right. my heart. Thank you. How do you think you did? Not too shabby. Marks out of ten? Like. Out of a 1 to 10 scale, how do you think I think I did? Eight. All right, Mary. Honestly, one of the worst I've ever heard in my life. The worst? Yeah, honestly. Are you just saying that to get on my nerves, or are you totally serious? Because something tells me that I think you're saying it to annoy me. But I, what made you audition for this competition? All my friends told me that I was an awesome singer. What? Mary, you can't sing a note. I mean, not only can you not sing a note in tune, you have one of the, the, the weirdest voices I've ever heard in my life. Well, weirdness is originality, too. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good point. Well, you know, at least I'm not going to walk out of here crying like some people do. No, I don't want you to, I'm Mary. I'm going to walk I out mean... here being like, hey, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Would you like me to sing like myself? I have a ton of different voices. Right. Well, what were those? You don't want to hear them. You have a lot of voices, huh? Your In head? your head. <laughs> In your head? Are they talking all the time? Yeah, I think so. What, what are, are they, they saying, saying now? They're saying... I didn't know the judges on American Idol would actually think I was terrible. They're also saying Mark McGrath is a hottie. They're also saying... A good judge. Um, all y'all look different in person. I pictured you to be bigger. I, 
You're prettier than I thought you were. You look thinner than I thought you were. The soundtrack to this section, I think, should be <laughs> violin music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Mary, um, I think we're just going to say no and, and wish you lots of luck at beauty school. Yeah, definitely. You seriously think I'm one of the worst singers you've ever heard? I actually do, Mary, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I really Mary. thought I was going to make it to Hollywood, and I can't believe the outcome, but whatever. Hang in there, honey. It's just Thank one you. show. Thanks, Mary. Thank you so much. I'm never going to pursue my singing career again. Ever. I'm going to just go to beauty school style hair, because that's what I'm good at. I'm not going to lose either. I'm not going to lose it no matter what I do. I'm not going to lose it. I'm not going to start crying. I've heard from many, many, many different people that I have an amazing voice. All my friends have told me that I had an amazing voice. Random people I don't know have told me that I can really sing. So all that would tell me that they're wrong. But still, the fact that they said that, that doesn't make me want to pursue any kind of singing career, not unless I'm going to be a lead singer in a rock band. Now, I want to say a big to Simon and Randy and Martin Gray, even though he's a hottie, I won't deny that. Although I'm not gonna say to Paula because at least she was nice and at least she was sweet. She's such a sweetheart. And I can't say anything bad about her. Hey. How are you, Mason? I'm very well, thank you. Um, can you introduce yourselves, please? My name is Mason Noyes, so I need you to make some noise. Thank you. Um, Mason, how did you think your first audition went? That's Rita. <laughs> oh, I, I had a little dance. Okay. You had a little I dance. Admit, I you, did, You yes. were feeling it. Um, Mason, what are you going to perform for us now? Because as you can see, there's six yeah. full chairs there. So how have you come prepared for this? You'll see. OK. Good luck, Mason. <laughs> You know what? I invite you all to film this and put up your phones. They ain't gonna throw 5,000 people out. Now listen. Mason, Mason, just one second. What gives you the right to say that? Listen. No, I, I, no you're talking to me, not them. Okay, I'll go for it straight. With the first audition I watched on Saturday, people had 10 minute slots and I went to 47 seconds. Mason, you know what? You are five seconds away from getting thrown off this stage. Yeah, and I mean it. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do to be an artist. I'm being an artist. If you've got a problem, then just go. I ain't got a problem. Don't criticize these guys. Listen, I'm... Mason. You shouldn't be booing. It's going horribly wrong. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for entertainment. Yeah, I'm doing, doing this for it. artists. No, you are being this a is real. police. Don't tell me how long you should have on this show. Say how long I should have on the show. I'm bringing art. Why back. don't you shut this up? Is, this is about entertainment. Mason, why don't you shut up? I'm bringing up. entertainment back, bro. This is like, I'm bringing entertainment Mason, back to the entertainment. shut it. No. Well, then go.
Why don't you, first of all, apologize to these guys over there who spent hours editing your tape? Don't come on and insult my show and insult these producers. I ain't apologizing. You're not going to apologize. No, why right. should I? Well, then go. Seriously? That's called Kanye West effect. Yeah, but you're not Kanye West yet. I'm sure you do. All I was saying was, they cut my first performance to 47 seconds. And my first performance was one of the best performances. I'm actually disappointed for him, because I think he's talented. He would have had a chair. He would have had a chair. Searching for a hero. People need someone to look up to. Thank you. Randy. I don't think that you're a solo singer at all. I think you're I'm more, sorry? I don't feel that you're a solo singer. I don't feel that you have a solo singer's voice. <laughs> I'm quite sure I sing a whole lot better than you do. And for you to tell me I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. Enough, <laughs> enough, enough, oh, enough, enough. I'm hurt. I'm hurt and I'm angry. You Feisty. Stand here. You're not standing where I'm Welcome to American Idol Smackdown. You're not standing here being judged by people about how you sing. You're not singing, are you? And for you to tell me that I need lessons? Tamika, Tamika. 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 Go, Tamika. 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 Listen to Tamika. Me. Tamika. 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 Not Tamika. Tamika. <laughs> Tamika. Tamika. Go to an audition where they lie to you. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, no, I'm not about to go uh, to an audition go, where go, they go lie there. to me. Yeah, we're telling go you there. the truth and you don't want to hear it. Go there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. What's your name? My name's Zoe. Zoe what? Zoe Alexander. And Zoe, where are you from? I'm from Caerphilly, South Wales. South Wales. <laughs> you look like pink. Do a lot of people tell you you look like pink? Yes, that's what I do for a living. What? I'm a pink tribute artist. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Um, I call myself Zoe Alexander as pink. Okay. But we want to get rid of the as pink. As pink. And we and just want to be, be Zoe Alexander. So what are you hoping to get out of today? I'm hoping to get four yeses, but after that, I'm hoping to get a bit of an identity, my own identity. And are your father and mother with you today? Yes. Um, my dad's a Tom Jones tribute act. <laughs> 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 yeah. And my mum does Shania Twain. <laughs> Oh my god. Really? So we got Shania Twain, Tom Jones, and Pink <laughs> in the same house. Who opens? And do you find the mother work on? You open as Tom Jones. I do. And then Shania comes on. <laughs> just just And so then Zoe so so blows him away. Okay. Right? okay. Um, Zoe, what are you gonna sing? Um, I'm gonna sing So What by Pink. Pink, okay. Off you go. I guess I'll just pass my husband I don't know where he went So I'm gonna drink my money I'm not gonna pay his rent I got a brand new attitude That I'm gonna wear tonight I'm gonna get in trouble I'm gonna start a fight I'm gonna start a fight We're all gonna get in a fight So it's so what? Okay, uh, Talisa. Okay, um, I actually quite liked your image when you when you came out, and then when you told me about pink. I realised, okay, you based it on pink. This is what no, I'm I didn't base it on pink. Oh, you didn't? No, I'm trying to get away from the pink thing. Okay, see, the problem is is that you came out saying that you wanted to, you know, find your own identity. Yeah. It's very confusing for me because I did feel like I was watching a pink tribute act. Should we get a second song? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give you a chance because yeah. you kind of blew it on that. Can you can you be yourself? Yes. Off you go. What are you going to sing, Zoe? Um, Emily Sande next to me. That's Emily Sande. Okay. 
and be you, be you, be you, be you. I'm always being me. That I, whenever I'm on stage, I'm this doing what flows out We're trying to help me. you. <laughs> Find him, you'll find him next to me. Next to me. Ooh, ooh. Next to me. Ooh, ooh. You. Okay, thank you, Zoe. Uh, Nicole. Hi, Zoe. I, I really like your energy up there. I think you have a, a pretty good voice. I honestly think that you need to go away and take the time to find yourself as an artist, who you are. Yeah, Zoe, I'm confused with the identity issue. You know, coming out saying you wanted an identity, then you sing Pink. I thought that the second song was much better, um, but I do think you need to go away and really find your own lane and find what sounds right for your voice, because at the moment it just sounds like every other average sort of singing voice. Yeah, Zoe, it's a pity because you've got a great look. You absolutely look like a pop star, but the vocal was just very, very average. But I think with time, you could be fantastic, but I think you need to go and find yourself and come back to Zoe. So we're going to vote, Gary. Zoe, I'm afraid it's a no from me. Nicole. I'm sorry, it's a no today. Talisa. Sorry, it's a no for now. You told me to sing a pink song. I didn't want to sing a pink song. Never, you guys told me to, to sing a pink song. Sing a pink song. Mm. We never told you I to sing a pink, to song. sing a pink song. We, I, want to be, I wanted to be me. You we, guys told me to sing a pink we, song. We heard a whoa, second whoa, song. Whoa, 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 whoa. We never told you to sing a pink song. Did you hear that come out of our, our, our mouths, any of us? Listen, we had a second song from you as well. Zoe, you sang a, a second song. Zoe, though. you did. It was your audition, and you messed up. I'm sorry. I'll Zoe. just leave it, Zoe. Come on. Zoe, you sang a second Let's song. Same chance everyone I'm else shocked. gets. say, whoops, I have to say, my favorite thing is to interview a mime. <laughs> I would ask you your name, but I'm just going to call you the mime. Is that okay? All right. Listen, I tell you what, let's see your mime. How's that? Maybe that's the best thing to do.
maybe now you'll use the microphone because I think after four X's, you might want to give up mime and start talking to him. I mean, the best part was this gentleman coming out giving a mime a microphone. That was the funniest bit. <laughs> Sorry. It didn't have a story. I think if you had a story to tell, then we could follow it. It didn't really have content. Howie, um, walking against the wind and being trapped in an imaginary box isn't going to dazzle an audience to give you $1 million. That's true. All right, Howie, vote, please. No. Mel? No for me, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's uh, four no's.